All right, welcome to another video by Lane Creations, Log Analysis Made Easy. This is a follow-up video for those of you who have never installed Proxmox and don't know where to start. I have a server and I wanted to make a self-bootable uh, thumb drive. I'm using Proxmox for those who haven't paid attention, who haven't been following the video, because I need an alternative to ESXi. Exercise licensing price practices have priced them out of my market. I can't afford to use them, so I needed a free alternative. Proxmox costs me absolutely nothing, and it gives me basically the same capabilities I had before. Nice thing about Proxmox is free, and it works on older versions of servers. So if you go buy yourself a discount server, go get yourself, spin up some Proxmox, it'll support older versions, whereas ESXi, you had to have uh, newer hardware. Anyway. What I want to do is I wanted to build a bootable thumb drive, so I just got myself an inexpensive cruiser thumb drive, just like this. I had some laying around. Uh, they're not expensive. Nothing special about them. You want approximately four gigabytes, just so you can hold the entire image. Proxmox is like 1.7 gigs, so it's not. You don't need a really big thumb drive. And the other piece of software I used was Etcher Belena. I don't know how you pronounce it. This allowed me to build a bootable thumb drive on. Windows. You can do it with Linux, uh, but Etcher exists in all, both OSs, and you can use it for Mac. So I'm just going to use Etcher instead of going through each of the different types of ways you can build it, uh, build a bootable uh, thumb drive. But I just used Etcher, and I downloaded Proxmox. I've got the links here for where I got Etcher from, and I went and downloaded Proxmox. Make sure you download Proxmox first, then you go download the software for Etcher. And I'm just going to jump right in. When you uh, install Etcher, this is what you'll get. You want to flash from a file, that's good, or you can flash from a URL or clone a drive. I'm going to from a file, I'm going to go to my drive, and I'm going to pull up Proxmox. Then I'm going to select a target, which at this moment I don't have a, a target, uh, but if I had a target selected, it would pick it, and then I'd hit flash. Just as simple as that. You can see the Proxmox is 1.4 gigs. So a two gig thumb drive would work, but you select your target, which would be the thumb drive. I don't have it here, but once you do it, you hit flash and your thumb drive is ready to go. Now, once that's done, it doesn't take but a few minutes. You'll take that thumb drive and you'll plug it right in the front of your server and set your server to boot from the thumb drive and just follow the installation instructions on Proxmox. It's really quite simple. Hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please uh, hit me down below. Join my Discord. If you got any further questions, I can help you with that. Anyway, I hope this helps you uh, be able to leverage the power of this free virtualization platform and hope you keep coming back for more.